The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome to the 4 p.m. news update, everyone. So it seems like the indices had a nice little rally. Even the, even the Nasdaq ended up pushing up over um, that point there, closing up in the green, even if it modestly. Uh, gold sticking down around that 2.25% level, at least on the GDX. Uh, the dollar staying up above that 102 area. We'll see if it can hold um, quite a move for the dollar up there. Uh, Meta is down about 1.2%. Tesla's up. Apple is basically flat. Our boy STLD up modestly at 1.5%. We have the uh, ES Mini up 0.34%. Again, keep in mind, everyone, we have um, uh, we have the earnings coming out. Uh, specifically, look for Bank of America, Lockheed Martin, Netflix, and Goldman Sachs. Um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what plugs in here. Uh, a quick little news story I wanted to share um, quickly, since we're on the gold uh, topic. Uh, this is an interesting one from Swiss-owned companies. Uh, Russian gold trades expose gap in Western sanctions. So the Swiss commodity traders, um, Abu Dhabi subsidiary, has been uh, able to buy tens of millions of dollars of Russian gold despite a ban. And so we're seeing this everywhere. Again, these sanctions are having a hard time working. Um, also in Bangladesh, they're building a uh, nuclear power plant and they were getting loans from Russia on it. Obviously, Russia couldn't get those loans since they were blocked from SWIFT. So China stepped in and uh, through SIPS is allowing them to trade in Yuan and uh, Bangladesh and Russia are going to do so. Very strange, strange times. Um, and one of the ones that really thing that's interesting to focus on is going to be ASML and IBM. IBM is going to get a huge, well, maybe, will get a huge bump um, from this chip investment um, if they can switch over to the EUV. Um, ASML is already at EUV, top of the line. Um, you see a nice, I mean, a pretty big jump down there on some high volume. So, like I said, keep posted. ASML is a little bit uh, into the week. Um, there might be some issues with uh, chip manufacturing. Like I said, do your research on it. Keep an eye open for these guys. And uh, folks, thank you so much for joining me. As I said, Tom will be back tomorrow. Uh, join us at 9 a.m. with Tommy for the morning market kickoff. And have a great rest of your day and good luck trading for this week.